Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss about what is logic. What is the nature of logic? So first of all, let us know from where the word logic comes from. Logic comes from the Greek word logos, which means reason or thought. Now what is logic? Logic is the study of methods and principles used to distinguish between correct and incorrect reasoning. Now the question arises, what is reasoning? or argument. So let us see one example. This is argument. All men are mortal. Ram is a man. Therefore, therefore Ram is mortal. This is one argument. This is one valid argument. All men are mortal. This one is first premise. Ram is a man. This one is second premise. And therefore, Ram is mortal. This one is the conclusion. So, argument means a group of proposition where we can derive from the premise to the conclusion. So, these two are, what is this two? These two are called premises. These two are called the premises. This one is the first premise and this one is the second premise. And this one is the conclusion. So an argument means a group of proposition. Uh, this one is the proposition. This one is also another proposition. And this one is another proposition. So argument is a group of proposition where we can derive from the premise to the conclusion. And this argument derived is a valid argument. It derived from one premise to the another and then there, from there we can get the conclusion okay so now here it is written logic is the study of methods and principles used to distinguish between correct and incorrect reasoning so as we all know that this one is valid argument so in the same way there may be also invalid argument so logic is the study for methods and principles where we can distinguish between correct argument and incorrect argument and what type of argument it may be valid argument or it may be invalid argument so logic helps us to find out whether its uh, argument is valid or invalid so this type of argument is uh, this type of examples are called argument so here if we write all men are mortal this one these two are called terms. This one is a subject term and this one is the predicate term. So this line, this sentence is called a proposition. This one is the proposition. So proposition is the statement of certain relation between two terms. These two are what these two are? These two are term. This one is subject term and this one is a predicate term and this one is the copula. Copula means that it expresses a relation, it attests a relation between the subject and predicate. So this whole sentence is called proposition and proposition, in a proposition we will find one two terms that is subject term and predicate term. And subject term and predicate term are attached to one copula that is called R is the copula. So, copula is express a relation between the subject term and predicate term. So, what is a proposition? Proposition is a statement of certain relation between two terms. What are the two terms? Subject term, man and predicate term is the mortal. So, this one is the proposition. But this one is the argument. So, argument are group of proposition. This one is one other proposition. This one is also one proposition. So, there may be three proposition, there may be four proposition also. So, all are called arguments. But these single sentence are called propositions. Okay. Okay. Today, we have learned what is logic, what is argument, what is proposition. In a proposition, how many terms are there? Two terms. All these are in the first unit. We will get in the first unit what is called logic, what is called argument and what is called proposition. Okay, thank you.